you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? <laughs> Parlock's tricks will not save Gotham from its reckoning. Not now. <laughs> This city is still under my protection.
You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. best as I can. I know you have to. I'm sorry it's come to this. for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. Grenade! I'm leaving you the Belfry as the base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. <laughs> and... He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom?
I'm at Gotham U. So this professor was Batman's last case? Kirk Langstrom. Batman attached a half-finished file to his coat black. Langstrom must have been mixed up in something bad. Hopefully that means a fight. Could stand to let out some aggression right now. We got a positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. So our scientist got himself dead. Where's his office? Seriously? Crap. Well, our notes had his office on the third floor of Molten Hall. Thanks. Huh. Someone left the doors open on the third floor. Body cam recording. This is it. Not seeing much police work here. Guess Langstrom kicked it somewhere else. Okay, those marks are weird. Not much on my end yet. You need anything, big guy? I got this. You don't need to do all of this alone if something's weird. Sounds like you don't trust me, Nightwing. He trusted you. So? So do I. We'll finish this for him. Yeah, yeah, I get it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Someone messed this place up bad. Langstrom died in here. Guess the cops got tired and went home for the night. Langstrom was busy working when he was attacked. He lost a lot of blood. Fast. He tried to run, but the attacker pinned him to the wall. He didn't have a chance. Just before he died, Langstrom tried to get to that cabinet. What could be so important?
Well, well, well. A hidden door. You're full of surprises, Dr. Langstrom. Got it. Time to find out what you were hiding, Langstrom. going on in here. What did Langstrom do to these things? This can't be normal university research. Langstrom's desk. Let's see what he's been up to down here. What is this? A hard drive. Must be important if it was hidden down here. Better get this back to everyone. I'm done here. I don't think the cops saw the marks on the walls, and they definitely didn't see the hidden lab. I'm bringing you a hard drive I found in there. Can't wait to hear what you've got. See you soon.